Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back if you are returning. This video is just going to be a really quick, chatty video talking about Miracle Morning, because I've mentioned that a few times without really going into it. I will link below to information about Hal Elrod's official Miracle Morning book and everything. I chose to experience that book as an audiobook. There are definitely times I regret that because it's much easier to flip back to look at something in a paper book, so I may yet obtain a paper copy. Um, because there are things I find myself wanting to revisit as I modify his Miracle Morning to fit me. What do I mean by that? Well, the official Miracle Morning is an hour long, although you can certainly go longer, um, and you do six things in 10 minute chunks. And the mnemonic to remember it all is savers. Standing, so your life savers. So silence, affirmations, visualization, exercise, reading, and scribing, because journaling doesn't fit the acronym. You can mix and match the actual amounts of time, which is the first thing I did when I was adapting the Miracle Morning, is I uh, 10 minutes of exercise isn't going to do it for me because I want to do yoga, and a good yoga flow is generally at least 20 minutes. A full practice is an hour, but let's be real, if I'm going to do all these other things, I'm not going to do a full hour of yoga. So I started out by making that 20 minutes, and I took five minutes away from just about everything else, made reading also 20 minutes. So 40 minutes for those two pieces, five minutes for all the other pieces. I use an app called Meditation Helper, which I will link below. It's a very simple app. It's meant for tracking your meditation so that you have a running tally to keep you motivated to keep a meditation practice going. And it has the option to ring little bells at different intervals. That's why I find it really useful for this. So I have a bunch of different versions of it set up now that allow different amounts of time for each chunk so that I do keep moving because it is easy to get so into some of these sections that you run out of time and all of a sudden have to run to work because this is something you do in the morning before you're doing the rest of your day. I find it really helpful when I do manage to do this routine in the morning, much more so than doing any one part by itself. As I say, I got a tinker. The other thing I did right away was change the order of things because, again, if I'm using yoga as my exercise portion, then it makes the most sense to flow that right into meditation because that's what you do in yoga. You do all of the postures and then you do shavasana and meditate. So I, the rest I kind of kept in order. So exercise, meditation or silence, affirmations, visualization, reading and scribing. I had to tinker some more with the other pieces as well. Visualization, I actually use tarot cards rather than, say, creating a vision board. I really love the imagery that is used in tarot. It's meant to be very evocative. It's meant to sort of, you know, bring various different things to mind by the symbols that are incorporated into those images. And I find that very helpful um, as a way of setting the tone for the day. I'm thinking that I may move that before the meditation piece because that also kind of makes sense. I actually might move affirmation and visualization before meditation. Reading is meant to be something inspirational, self-development oriented, and a lot of the books I've chosen for that purpose have been. Others have not, have just been fiction. 
because one of my goals has been to read more actual books. And fiction is inspirational in its way. Fiction builds empathy, which that seems to be a hot topic lately. And it It gives room to reflect on our worldview by looking at a different worldview. So I count that. <laughs> and then scribing is typically me setting up my bullet journal for the day rather than the typical scribing that is more the free flow, just what's in your brain writing. I do want to do more of that going into 2019. So I think I'm going to try to incorporate that as well. So those are the pieces of the Miracle Morning and how I've revised them. What my Miracle Morning for 2019 is looking like, partly because I did do physical therapy for my knee and I still have exercises to do for that. And I've been doing some additional work with one of the physical therapists just to build strength, flexibility, endurance overall. I have alternating day routines between those two things, knee and just wellness. So those are my exercise rather than yoga. Still going to do that first. And then affirmation, visualization, meditation, reading, and bullet journaling. But I want there to be some actual like brain dump journaling going on there as well. So we'll see how that goes. The nice thing about January is even though it is going to be, insert long string of adjectives here, busy <laughs> at work, there is a bit more flexibility because I don't have actual classes and I don't have a whole lot of meetings. So I can experiment with length and time a little bit because it doesn't matter as much exactly what time I get to campus most days. So that's one of the good things about January for this type of thing and we'll see how it goes and then when the semester starts it'll probably need to shift again because the semester will have started and then there are classes and meetings and things so we'll see oh length of time it is again the basic is meant to be an hour I have in my meditation helper app I've set up various different lengths depending on what amount of time I have to work with. I find that 90 minutes tends to actually work best for me. 75 is usually a little more realistic for a work day. Um, since both of these physical therapy routines take about 30 minutes, I it's going to have to be a, either the 75 or the 90 minute and we'll see what ends up working best. And then on a weekend when I theoretically have all the time in the world and can just really enjoy all the pieces, I do have a two hour long one. Although I do still use the bells to keep me sort of on track so that I don't divert and end up not actually finishing and then moving on to things I have to do for the day because it might be the weekend, but there's still stuff that needs to be done. I think that's all I wanted to say about that little babbly and little tangential there. Have you read Hal Elrod's Miracle Morning? If so, what did you think of it? And did you decide to try that routine? Have you modified it? And if so, how? I'd be really interested to hear. Please let me know in the comments. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.